<laughs> Amazing audience, we are live with Keith Larson. All right. Oh, we're live? Yeah, we are live. This is like streaming? Yeah, it is. Holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> you should do this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be an amazing conversation. He came out here, right, to have a conversation with us, which we are excited for. He was actually a random, I would say random conversation. As much as random doesn't make sense anymore to me because of the amount of conversations and the way things connect. Uh, but definitely had fun. He, he signed up for 12 minutes. He spent just about 17 overall on that podcast. It was tremendous fun. Keith, it's a pleasure to touch you, so, see you, you know, make absolutely. sure you're real. Yeah, yeah this yeah. is great. Yeah. So tell us, what's the update? What have you been doing? A lot of the know? same. Yeah. A lot of the same as before. Uh, I'm just, you know, I'm an independent uh, video producer, editor, so have gig, will travel. Yeah. So. Yeah. Luckily, I've been, had a lot of work right down the street here, so. It's amazing though, how that's working. Though. Like, I mean, what are the chances that you would randomly go through connect have this conversation with this guy in the caribbean and then he pops up on the radar again says hey i'm coming to meet you and then you'll be right a stone's throw away from uh, where i'm staying uh, when dean texted me yesterday and said we're staying at the marriott in farmington i was laughing i'm like i'm gonna be working two buildings away wow so i walked over here yeah you know, it's like uh, how random i yeah. i went and told my co-workers and they were all laughing they're like wow i guess you'll be able to squeeze that in after all <laughs> <laughs> it is fascinating how these things connect now tell us a bit more about your business uh where we can connect with you especially what you do i i know i love the reel on your website right uh with those individuals you've met and one of the things you said is that you get to meet the people you were reading, right? So tell us a bit more oh, about the, that. Oh, the Charlton movie, the yeah, documentary, yeah. yeah. The documentary were, it's, uh, it's, the elevator pitch is, it's about a comic book company that was founded and operated here in Connecticut as part of a bigger magazine uh, printing operation called Charlton Comics. And they primarily printed like Hit Parader magazine and you know uh, puzzle books and things that really earned them a lot of money. And the comics were kind of an afterthought. What they didn't realize is they had 30 or 40 of these legendary comic book creators under their roof at the time that went on to bigger things at Marvel and DC. Mm. And they ultimately collapsed under their own uh, weight. But um, it's a fascinating story and it's really multi-layered and we pretty much have it shot. Yeah. But we ran out of money, you know how that goes. Yeah. And we've applied for some grants and we're continuing to get a couple of private donations to keep us going, but we need quite a bit to get into the post-production and edit the movie. Because we want to do animation, we want to do some recreations, we want to have a lot of fun with it. So that's not cheap and we need, you know, it can't just be the small crew that's gone out and shot the thing. Yeah. We need we need a lot more bodies. So. Where can people connect to that? Is it um, charltonmovie.com okay. okay. uh, is the best place. And we're all over social media. Um, and we'll be, we usually do a lot of regional comic cons as soon as we get into the next phase, you know, and have actually a movie. Yeah. We'll start going to the bigger conventions and going out across the U.S. Which is super cool. It's really your cool. Yeah, yeah. I, it's it's. Um, we got the idea just by accident. I just I was tired. We were at this comic con and I just wanted to sit down. And I saw that there was a panel with some of these guys I grew up reading, and I didn't know they were going to talk about Charlton Comics. And when I heard that, I almost got up and left. Wow. But I decided. I said to my friend Jackie, I said, "Let's just stay for a while, and then we'll sneak out politely." The stories were so good, we moved to the front of the room, <laughs> and it took till the next morning, and I said, oh my God, that's a, that's a movie. Yeah. So I called her back up, and I said, what do you think about doing this? Will you do this with me? Mm. And thank God I selected her, because yeah. she's just amazing. Yeah. That's I mean, this amazing. wouldn't be half the project it is without her. She's just amazing. That's good. Yeah. Big up. Shout out. Yeah. Jack Zabushka. <laughs> Zabushka. What's Zabushka? Zabushka. Zabushka. Yeah. Tell me more. What's that? That's her last name. Okay. And it's like, she's like Romanian or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought it was like a tomb. Like or Zabushka. Hungarian. It sounds cool. It is cool. Yeah. yeah. Zabushka. So, all right. <laughs> so, you're doing your thing. I think one of the greatest highlights in our conversations was that you stepped out. You stepped out because you wanted to protect your freedom, right? Mm. As an entrepreneur. Uh, you spoke about the challenges of being employed and working as a corporate guy, right? Yeah. How is that? Well, then cover with us your own unique real shoes. So one of the segments we cover is your own unique real shoes, which speaks of your own unique real struggle. What has been a struggle along this path of being that entrepreneur? 
Well, the struggle of, you know, when you start anything new and take a chance on anything is, you know, you, you, you have to start at the bottom mm. and work your way up. And it took a long time. I remember many nights laying in bed, looking at the ceiling, living off credit cards going, oh my God, I screwed up so bad mm. doing this. Um, but then you just get that one crack, you get that, that one opening, and then all it takes is that, that opportunity. If, you, if you're driven, if you're, if you have, and I hate to say talented enough, but I guess you have to say it, right? Yeah. Um, and I think at the core, just a good communicator and a good person with a good set of working values. Then it just cascades from there. It's a snowball rolling down a mountain. And I haven't had to have a demo reel of my work since 2003. Wow. I get all my work word of mouth. And, you know, I walked away for two years. I took a full-time job yeah. and didn't really think it was the right thing to do called my old clients and they all took me back hmm, in amazing. fact I, I'm busier now than I was before wow. so yeah um, you know and, and I have to thank a lot of my peers and friends for that too because you know there's a lot of loyal people that I work with that are constantly referring and I'll refer them and you know that's how it works and hmm. it speaks to your work ethic as well though from the beginning how important is that I think pretty important because um, you know, you can go punch a clock every day, and that was fine, and I did that for a long time. Uh, but I always wondered if I could do something on my own. A lot of people said, you should be working on for yourself. You know, you should be out there. And it took, I sold the house, uh, so I had a little bit of house money to play with, literally, yeah, yeah. and took the chance. I quit my job with the state. I was working at a college at the time. And just struck out on my own. And like I said, I mean, it was scary for a couple of years. Yeah. It was not fun. I really made, thought I made a mistake, but... You have to have the, the, the intestinal fortitude to persevere <laughs> through that kind of stuff. I mean, it's too easy to give up and go back and take yeah, a job. I love that intestinal yeah. fortitude. <laughs> <laughs> or stupidity or a combination of both. <laughs> when you heard that this Caribbean guy was coming from the Caribbean, right, mm -hmm. to meet you, what did you think? Oh, I had to. I had to meet you because... You know, when, when you first contacted me, I thought, well, this is odd. Who is this? Yeah. And, and like I said, I went through the booking thing, and it was very professional, the way you handled the whole thing. I'm like, okay, well, this isn't some ham and egger. Yeah. I'll do this. This looks interesting. And then we had a great conversation. I loved our time. And I try to keep up with you as much as I can on LinkedIn since. I yeah. follow what you're doing. And I saw you post the little GoFundMe idea to come and meet all of us. And I'm like, oh, how awesome is that? Yeah. So I threw some money. Because uh, I wanted to see you, and I'm glad here we are. It it's worked amazing, out, and I right? just <laughs> what's cool about as much as technology grates on me sometimes, and social media grates on me. Here's a perfect example of the power of mm. today's technology and social media. Yeah. You and I, who didn't know each other six months ago, are now wow. sitting here having a conversation yeah. in Connecticut. I mean, yeah. that's. That's cool. That's fascinating. Yeah. This is DC Comics things, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because you reached out to me out of nowhere. Yeah. You know? So that's pretty awesome. It's amazing how things connect. What are you most excited about right now? What am I most excited about? I'm actually excited for you. Mm. I, I am actually excited for you. I, I listened to several of your podcasts. I think you're, you're a pro's pro. Mm. Um, you're you're well-read. You're researched. You're... Uh, I just, I'm, I'm marvel at your ambition alone. I'm, I marvel at that. Yeah. Um, you know, so many people would just be like, why am I doing this? Yeah. After a certain amount of time, like, what's the, what's the return on this? Yeah. It, it, I, I'm actually fascinated with, with you, my friend. Yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm fascinated with your muscles as well. <laughs> well, I don't know why, but you thank you. Do the best. <laughs> No, come no. on, do the buff. Look, how I'm doing no. it. Do the buff. Do the buff. You do I it. mean, it's a cut. No, 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 no. Touch it. Do the buff. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Definitely, your LinkedIn picture didn't do justice to your muscles. No. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Well, my friend, you know, it's been a great pleasure connecting with you. I must say, I appreciate you uh, and your passion and the way you represent yourself. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's really inspiring as I go out to have these conversations to meet individuals and see the hope that exists in the world. Because some people, I mean, it could it could get uh, dreary out there, Absolutely. Right? Yeah. I mean, this, you know, look at our situation politically right now. Mm. Um, <laughs> you know, and I actually felt that way when we hung up on the Skype interview, the first one. I just went, wow, I just felt 
energized. Yeah. You know, um, just talking to you about things makes you kind of introspectively look at yourself a little bit and then yeah. reevaluate who you are and why you're doing things. You were asking all those questions that made me kind of yeah. reboot, if you will. Yeah. And, uh, and that's why I just, you inspired me and that's why I keep reading what you're doing and I'm so pumped that we got to hang out. Yeah, this, this is, is awesome. Fun. This is fun. This is fun. I love it. Love it. Well, Keith, a uh, good pleasure. In closing, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? No, if you're on